name is Lynn Miller. I'm a USPTA and PTR certified tennis teaching professional. I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about teaching the volley. I have uh, coached 35 years at Wheaton College. I'm currently retired, uh, coaching the men and the women's teams. Moved up to New Hampshire and uh, coached the high school bo boys the Colby Sawyer men's and women's teams as an assistant and um, a teaching pro at one of the local uh, tennis clubs, so I'm not totally retired. I can't stay away from teaching. I've taught the volley this way for years, and I want to uh, show you something that has helped my players um, be a little quicker with their hands at the net and um, also more accurate and confident. I have a skier's edge machine here that I uh, use. Um, I used it in a big video I posted a few years ago uh, dealing with uh, ground strokes and balance. Uh, you can see that on YouTube. But for right now, th the main emphasis of this video is to talk about the timing of your hand and your load foot. So if I'm, I'm left-handed, so if I'm hitting a volley, a uh, forehand volley, I either step out or I just twist to get weight on my load foot. This is before I step forward. We're talking about the preparation phase. Here to here, here to here. The timing of this is pretty much happens at the same, same moment. Here to here, okay? Notice that I have to bend my hand back. I'm in a, uh, I teach continental grip for both sides. Uh, so I'm here, I'm here. My hands are still out in front of me. I haven't taken the arm back. Same thing on my backhand, still on a continental grip. I load my outside foot here, and my knees and my hips help a little bit here. All right, so I get a, a little bit shoulder rotation here, but not, not too much, and I'm not bringing the racket back here. My hand's still out in front of me, have sort of a karate chop position off the backhand side. Fingers are up. So forehand, backhand. And if I have time, obviously I can't demonstrate this on the machine because uh, my feet will be kind of locked in here. But from here, I would just step forward if I wanted more, more power or hit the ball out in front of me more. So I'm using the machine. I used to be able to get right on when I was younger. Now I've got to be careful. All right. So for my forehand volley, it's here to here. It's here to here. I'm loading the outside foot. My hand goes at the same time. Here, the preparation phase. All right, same thing on the back hand. Here to here, here to here. Slight twist, hand still out in front of me. Okay, and racket hit up high. Here, here, here. Alternating is here, 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 etc. If I wanna go a little quicker, you can do this Without a machine, on the ground with your players, having them just try to keep up with you going forehand to backhand volley. Here, 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 here. Again, on the ground, just as quick as you can. Get around, get around, as quick as you can get your hand around, as quick as you can low. That's how quick you'll be with your hands at the net. So here, 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 here. You get the idea. I hope this helps you with um, your teaching and, and your own game as well. Thank you.